an engineer. That's a that's a really cool combination. I like that. So, oh, but you, thank you 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 appreciate the scientific method, though. You appreciate the oh, idea yeah. that, of hypothesizing and testing and going by the science and going by the research. Oh and yeah, I mean, like, it's just common sense. It's just yes. common sense. I don't understand why the general public, you know, won't use the common sense to think about the whole deal. You know, yeah. in the food industry, in the you know, um, you know, at the um, the the medical system. I just don't understand that. So that, that I try awesome. to help other others. You know. Thank you. And for your testimonial. And you're doing Longevity products as well, I think, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I tank. use, yeah, 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 I use mine, and um, I can give you some other testimony later on, you know, and, um, you're awesome. you know, by using, um, you know, Longevity products. Yeah, well, you call, yeah, I want to get, I, I got a whole bunch of calls here I want to get to, but I appreciate if you call us back periodically okay. and just let us know how yeah, you're doing. But I, one more thing, I re it's really important. I want to pass this message. You know, there's okay. a guy yesterday, he, uh, he was concerned about the uh, vaccination, mandatory yeah. vaccination. Yeah. If people out there, they worry about that, please, you know, go to the website. It's called petitionswhitehouse.gov. There's a petition going on. You know, the deadline is on, um, is on the 6th of this month. And you can go in there and go and then click on video petition and search for something called prohibit any laws mandating the force and requirement of vaccination of any kind. What's the website? The huh? what, give the website one more time. The petition. website is called uh, petitions.whitehouse.gov. Yeah. Petitions.whitehouse.gov. Yeah, once you get into the page, you know, you can go and uh, click on the view petition and then search for the title related to the, um, the uh, vaccination and then sign a petition. So, so far at this moment, it has more than 100,000 people signing oh already. People don't like having stuff injected in them, being forced oh, to have no, stuff injected. Oh no, I don't want a neurotoxin, all those yeah, you know, and, yeah, you know, chemical yeah. into my body. So that's why I just want to pass this, you know, message, you know, through your program Thank to you. your audiences. Thank you. I appreciate it, Gina, and I also appreciate the kind words. Please stay in touch. Oh. Thank you so much. Have a okay, beautiful thank day. You. God thank bless. You. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, uh, uh, Lucy in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Um, yes, I'm calling in because um, my brother had started with a sinus infection, and then he slowly started losing his use of his muscles and to oh my gosh. where he can't raise his arms, move his legs, walk. His speech is for his eyes. Uh, he's got he's got an issue here. How old's your brother? He's fifty three, and they think they are now reducing it down to um, Yogare syndrome. Gillian Barre, did you say? Well, All right. it, it, that's just a name. It's a, that's just a stupid, stupid, stupid way of, of treating how approaching health. It's just a name. There's no such thing as Gillian Barre syndrome. Gillian Barre syndrome is a bunch of different things that were discovered that come together that were discovered by a guy named Gillian Barre. It's a nerve muscle issue. Period. It involves autoimmunity. Did they tell him about the autoimmune component? By the way. Yes, they did. Okay. They've been okay. Doing cat scans, and I guess the last thing they did was, um, you know, the, the chest and the back. CAT scans to see if the, the nerves are kind of inflamed going out from the spinal cord. Uh, okay, here's the deal. With Guillain-Barre or multiple sclerosis or polio or whatever, you got a nerve problem, you got a muscle problem, the body, and Guillain-Barre in particular, the body's attacking the nerves and the muscles. But that's, that, that really, as far as reversing this thing goes, diagnosis is irrelevant. That's what we were saying yesterday. Your diagnosis doesn't matter except for the insurance company and except to bill you. Here's the deal. If you have a nerve and muscle problem, it involves inflammation of said nerves and muscles. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. Inflammation is a sign that the body's defense system has been activated. The defense system is called the immune system. So inflammation equals immunity. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, work with me here because I'm going to do this systematically step by step so you can, you can see how, how to approach this thing from a reversal standpoint. You've got a nerve and muscle issue. That involves inflammation. That involves the immune system. The immune system is the defense system. So we've got a defensive response problem here. Okay, Lucy? Well, an autoimmune, I guess, is what they're trying autoimmune to Autoimmune just means that you don't, don't go get confused with that. All okay. it means is that the immune system is activated. Autoimmune just means it's turning on itself, but we'll, that's that's not relevant for, uh, for reversing this thing yet. We just want to understand that if you have a nerve and pain, a nerve and muscle issue, it involves inflammation, which involves immunity, which involves defense. So we've got a defensive response. Whenever there's a defensive response, 
the logical thing to ask is what is the offending agent, period. Once you eliminate the offending agent, there isn't going to be a defensive response. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is how simple it is. I, I can hear the silence. I hear you thinking and the gears turning. Okay, I'm not psychic, Ben. I'm pharmacist, Ben. But I can see the gears turning in your brain. All right? You got to defend because it's too easy. It seems like it's crazy. Why wouldn't the doctors know this? I don't know why they don't know this. B because sometimes people are so smart, they're stupid. But if you have an immune response and a defensive response, the only thing you need to know is what is the offending agent. And I'm going to, we're going to, I'm still working with you here, but I want to make sure you understand this step by step. All right? Are, you, are we good so far, Lucy? Okay. So the offending agent means that we're doing. Don't with jump ahead. Don't jump ahead, Lucy. Let me take you, let me take you there, okay? I just want to make sure you understand so far. All right? Okay. We've got a defensive response. That means we have an offending agent, correct? Okay. Okay. So all we need to know is what's the offending agent. Well, how can offending, offending agents. Offending. Offending. Offense. Offense. Offending. Offense. offense. You've got offense and defense. You got a defensive response, so what that means is we have an offending agent, right? If you have a defensive response, something must be offending the body. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a defensive response. So the only thing we need to know is how is this offending agent getting into the body, and let's stop it from getting into the body. All right, so how can offending agents get into the body? And by the way, when I say the body, I mean the blood. That's really what the body is about, the blood. So something's Auto getting into the... So, what's that? Auto intoxication, I guess. Well, don't, don't get all sciencey on me here, okay? We'll get okay. into auto intoxication here in a minute. But, but I'm, I want you to work with me. Something is getting into the blood inappropriately. Now, there's three ways things can get into the blood, okay? They can get injected through the blood, and we just talked about vaccines, and that's one of the big problems with vaccines is we're, we're sticking stuff right into the blood. But unless your, your, uh, uh, your brother is an IV drug user, or, you know, vaccinations have been associated with Jill, uh, Guillain-Barre well, syndrome... He's, 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 not a, he's not a vaccine. He does not take vaccines. As a matter and, of fact, had okay. hang on, Lucy. I got to take a break. But I want you to understand that there's only three ways things get into the blood. And the first way, we're going to eliminate that because he's not using IV drugs. Hang on. We got to take a break. We'll finish up when we come back. And this is more than just for Lucy. This is for everybody dealing with an autoimmune or an immune problem. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Hello, Rose Holmberg here. If you know anyone who suffers from any kind of arthritis pain, I have suffered with severe rheumatoid arthritis for over 45 years. That is until this summer when I was told about 90 for Life and a secret sauce. You too can experience a life free of this pain. I work from home helping others by sharing with them this information that will give you hope and change your life. Call right now, 763-291-5052. Again, call 763-291-5052. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the host you're listening to right now online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with the host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We're the premier independent talk radio network. We are GCN. Okay, we're back on the bright side, and we're talking to Lucy in Texas, but we're talking to everybody out there who's got some kind of inflammatory or immune or muscle or nerve condition, and that's a lot, or autoimmune condition, and that's a lot of people. So everybody who's dealing, anybody or everybody who's dealing with these kinds of issues, please listen up, because when I'm, t- I'm talking to Lucy, but this applies across the board, and this is so important. We, talk, we touched on this yesterday. The body falls apart generically. We all fall apart the same way. And while it may seem that Gillian Barre and neuropathies and muscle and nerve issues are unique and personal, Lucy, to your brother, they're not. They're a generic way that the body falls apart. And it all involves inflammation, which means immunity, which means defense, which then requires that we find the offending agent. Are you with me, Lucy? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. There's only three, and by, by offending agent, I mean getting into the blood. This is where the problem all lies, into the blood. Right. Once something gets into the blood, it circulates around, and uh, any disaster is possible. Health disaster is possible. So how do things get into the blood? Well, you can inject them through the skin, or if you have a burn, perhaps, they can get in through the skin. Uh, this is the problem with vaccines, as I was saying. Uh, but you said your, your brother's not an IV drug user. He's not, sticking in, uh, he's not sticking a needle into his arm or into his body okay. and getting things... Uh-huh. And no vaccine, so we can eliminate that. The next point of entry is through the nose. Now, occasionally this will happen, but rarely. There are cases, obviously, where this can occur. Uh, you can breathe in, you know, chemical gases and chemical warfare. Military folks breathe in Agent Orange and they get can cancer. Can I for a second and ask you something? Real he quickly. Okay, he was redoing his bathroom and he ran that into could a, be, a You know, that could be, but that's very unlikely because it only happens occasionally. It's not long term. There's a third point of entry into the blood, all right? This third point of entry actually is where most of your defenses are located. This third point of entry is where most of us interface into the blood on a daily, if not hourly, basis. Where, where am I talking about, Lucy? The third point of entry. The gut, exactly. I'm not a food Nazi. I'm not a flake from Boulder who just talks about food and the diet all the time. I'm just telling you logic. And I know I can talk. I talk to people every day, Lucy. I talked to a gal a couple days ago. And I can hear the silence on the other end of the line when I talk about the food and the gut. And I can tell that they're thinking that I'm some kind of flake. It's chemistry. It's how the body is structured. Your immune system, your defense system is located in the gut largely. There's a little bit in the skin, there's some in the blood, but for the most part, it's the gut. That means for the most part, 80% of the time, immunity equals digestion. Inflammation equals digestion. Uh, Autoimmunity equals digestion. Gillian Beret equals digestion. Lucy, he's your brother. You love him. You've been with him for 50 plus years. You have to know that there's some kind of digestive issue. Food intolerance, long-term constipation, long-term bowel problems. By the time Gillian Beret shows up, it's long-term. By the time neuropathy shows up, the digestive crisis has been going on for decades. 
Am I uh, making making sense, Lucy? You hear me yes, so far? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here's why it's problematic and why it's so important. Number one, it's going to get worse. And number two, he has control over it. Not his doctor. Not the medical model. Lucy, your brother can go to the doctor till the day he every day till the day he dies, and they will do nothing for him. 